साक्षात परब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरु नम Wonder of Wonders, the English rendering of Paramahamsa Sadguru Sri Sattupasi's Kannada classic, Mahadas Charya Audio. Chapter 13 Om Shri Guru Dattaya Namaha Pilgrimage with our townsmen My friends, Badagi Chikkanna and Godagappa were often talking about going to Dharmasthala. what to do need money doesn't simply happen let's see i used to say then chikkanna and godagappa would say look we don't have to pay money in one lump let's go on remitting rupees 2 per week for chit fund when cumulative savings is enough to defray dharmasthala expenses we will go on pilgrimage fine but where do i find rupees 2 every week one week i may remit what about the next i kept quiet thinking this wise at that time a new teacher of the name guru shantayya came to our village the school was adjacent to our house and adjacent to it was a room for his residence his wife was uma devi a very nice person me of course she was loving very much she had two sons the 6 year old one was struck with paralysis another was veeresh very good looking that mother she was very good to me she wouldn't eat without serving me if she cooked anything she would secretly bring and give it to me the two the teacher and his wife on coming to know about our going to dharmasthala called my friends chikkanna and godagappa and said look you raise a chit for going to dharmasthala we contribute mallana share to register it in a way they organized a worship on that very day names of subscribers were written down as a sort of registration despite my saying no please don't how can you contribute my share they were contributing every week week after week 2 rupees later the teacher himself called godaganna and chikkanna and said look friends Two rupees doesn't mean anything. Let us contribute at the rate of rupees ten per week, and they started remitting rupees ten per week. Word spread from one to another, and people began contributing, saying, "We too would like to go to Dharmasthala. I too will contribute." We had decided that we three alone should go. We hadn't admitted anyone. We too will come. People said, and within three or four weeks. the number of subscribers rose to around 60 the three of us who started this venture gave to guru shantayya teacher money account book and pen remitting money every week was our only responsibility it went on very well my contribution was paid by uma ka's husband sister uma is uma ka this wise total contributions subscribed is around 10 to 11000 what next a bus was hired a cook provisions like rice and wheat granules rave all arrangements are made for departure i too started taking permission from everyone did namaskara to my parents going to holy places in this manner this one was the beginning with a bag full of coconuts we started each one was vested with a responsibility one was interested with that of cooking and food arranging for bath and securing devara darshana was interested to someone and someone for finances devara darshana is entering the temple seeing the deity in the sanctum sanctorum and many other related acts can be very time consuming sometimes when all work was thus divided the job of getting coconuts broken as offerings to god in each one of the holy places remained who should do this in each temple there is need to offer on behalf of each one of the pilgrim in the bus a coconut flowers 
incense, sticks, kumkum and vermilion. If each one of the 60 go on doing this individually and exclusively, it takes a lot of time. It was decided that someone should get this work done and be ready for leaving to the next place. Considering the question, who is suitable for this job, they looked at me, thinking that I am devoted and of steadfast faith, they decided. You alone should do this work. What else can be done? Fine, I'll get worship done, right? We'll wait for none. Getting fruit coconut broken is all my job, I intimated. You may go wherever you like, bathe wherever you like. You don't have to wait for me. Near the bus, I'll be waiting for you, I said. I was doing just that and that alone. I waited until everyone got off the bus. I would look around when there was none of our men. I broke coconuts underneath the bus, applied kumkum to coconuts and sat in the bus as though I had gone and returned from after worship. All those when they returned would say in dismay, Hey, you are the right one. I have got everything done and finished. Well, gentlemen, you don't know what it means to getting coconuts broken and fruits offered to God urgently. I am stretched to the full. Oh, what a crowd and what a rush. Appa, I used to say. Though there were 60, no one knew how I did fruit coconut breaking worship. No one knew it. None paid any attention to it. They ran to rivers or water sources as soon as they reached a holy place. They ate as soon as the meal was announced. For Devara Darshana, they ran saying, Me first. While I was taking note of this sixty, they didn't notice me at all. At all other times, I was with them. With them, I was while eating and dining. To Dharmasthala, we went. In the same way, everyone went to the river. I went straight to the place where Gomateshwara was. I looked around for a suitable place to sit for a while and for coconut breaking. There were only a few. I passed for a while. There was no practice of breaking coconuts or offering fruits. They were only doing Mangalarati to the deity. Why don't they do fruits and coconuts here? I asked someone. No, this is Gomateshwara and no fruits and flowers are offered. No coconut is broken here, they said. I said to myself, Why should they break? I will do it myself. I went to that appraised place, cut tea with coconuts and plantains. The priest said, Why have you brought this here? Get lost. Why? I have got to break coconuts here, I said. I will let you out from here, he said. Let me see what you would do. I will see. I said, he had taken back Mangalarti Tatte, plate of lighted lamps to Gomateshwara idol for waving before it. After I had put my money into it, he held his face wrinkled, turning towards the idol, he was waving the plate of lighted lamps. I lifted up my hand with a coconut, waved it before Gomateshwara and hit coconut onto that cement katte. Waving a coconut before the deity to ward off the evil eye is called Nivadisu. The priest turned round on hearing the sound chat. I waved another coconut and hit it. Dud. The two coconuts broke into a hundred and spilled around. There were many devotees. Take coconut pieces, sprinkle tita on your heads, I said. Everyone was picking it up. The priest was Looking startled with his mouth and eyes open, he proceeded towards me as though he was going to hit me. Hey, do your job right. Wave lighted lamps, do it right, I said. He was waving the plate of lighted lamps. He was uttering abuses too. Enough, I say, attend to the work you are doing, I said to him. And returned to the bus, sat down waiting for others to come. Everyone came. We had our meal at Dharmasthala and we went to Udupi after visiting Subramanya. It was 7.30 in the night. Everyone rushed to Sri Krishna Darshana. I stood outside alone. There were two or three big uh, uh, chariots. 
that was a tall multi storied wooden vehicle in which the idols go on a ride around the temple the vehicle is drawn by thousands of devotees one of those uh, chariots decked with a variety of electrical ornamentation was getting ready to be drawn behind it was activated oil engine which provided electrical current to the moving chariot some 80 or 90 persons were holding a big rope tied to chariot ready to be drawn chanting krishna govinda but the chariot remained stuck motionless i who was witnessing all this felt like let me lend my hand to the rope and draw it holding on to the rope firmly i hauled it along with them saying krishna wonder of wonders or mahime of krishna the teru the chariot began moving hauling it for some distance i came and stood at the door of the shri krishna temple hoping that our men come let us go together i had already broken coconuts and kept them in the bus none of our men came the drawn chariot was back at its former place some two or three putting into a small palanquin shri krishna idol from the chariot were carrying the small palanquin i was standing opposite to them outside the temple those brahmins the palanquin bearers thinking that krishna is in the palanquin were uh, walking fast shouting clear the path give way i touched the palanquin as soon as it came near me and did a namaskara for that simple act those brahmins shouting like bears put down the palanquin at the very place where i had touched it and began to abuse me in that bear tongue and created a scene besides marching towards me to beat me what happened sir i asked ayyo shudra a lower caste fellow you son of a widow you have touched palanquin they said and raised their hands then pointing my finger to the place where they had put palanquin down i said look where you have put your krishna down bringing down their upraised hand carrying the palanquin on their shoulders they ran inside they had put the palanquin down on hundreds of footwears keeping it there they had come to beat me i went in finding that none of our men have come inside is a big uh, honda a water body which is called kalyani a beautifully decorated uh, floating uh, rafter is on the honda it was nice to see a large number of people waiting to witness the spectacle i sat on one of the steps at honda watching in joy the float rafter stood anchored many were announcing clear the way the swami is coming the crowd dispersed very soon i was just standing on the steps of water body the swami was coming there i said to myself who oh, he is coming here alone let me do namaskara some 80 brahmins began to push and abuse me but i stood my ground all those surrounded me were afraid of touching me i noticed it and said why should i go i want to have guru's darshan has your guru asked you to do what you are doing i said what is it that is written on the notice boards here and what is it that you are actually doing i questioned the guru who had listened to all this said leave it at that please go away all of you everyone withdrew i did namaskara to guru he went and sat on his holy seat i bowed down to him from a distance alone that mahanubhava the great experience smiled from the distance alone i returned and sat in the bus everyone came we started our, our onward journey we reached nanjan gudu rather late in the night we spent the night somehow the bus was parked near the river bank go and take bath was announced i couldn't skip someone observed i haven't seen this fellow take bath when does he take one does he i too took a dip in the river kapila chanting shiva shiva i didn't have any clothes other than the one i had worn there was no need for a bath too i took a dip in the river with my clothes on 
and with those wet clothing i followed the others with two coconuts in my hand we entered into the precincts of the nanjundeshwara temple everyone went in a line for nanjundeshwara darshana i sat in a lonely place behind one of the several temple pillars i hit the vermilion pasted two coconuts to a pillar and broke it saying nanjundeshwaraya namaha with broken coconuts offered to nanjundeshwara i stood at the far end of the line waiting for others to return i looked at the garbhagudi sanctum sanctorum of the temple lines of people on either side were waiting for darshana that is glimpse of uh, god seeing nanjundeshwara in between these two lines from a distance i bowed to the lord in my mind an elderly person sitting near the deity signed to me from where he was come this side not that i looked around thinking the sign was meant for someone else he again made a sign by turning his head indicating come this side come that side then i looked around felt that he is calling someone and looked you come near coconut breaking place kathanjana he continued making signs and signaling every one of our townsmen seeing this sight were wonderstruck what is this what's happening i went to the place indicated with my coconuts kathanjana the mahanubhava of the temple standing to a side of that place asked for broken coconuts through sign by stretching both his hands forward i had thought otherwise i had feared he may question where did you break coconuts and if he did so my misdeed would be exposed if he asked why did you break coconuts behind a cover and not in the open i was ready with a reply where is the godless place without asking me any question he received flowers and coconuts from my hands and signed again to me to join the line thinking let me face whatever happens i began perceiving things joining the line he sanctified broken coconut halves by placing them before the deity taking out a big garland woven out of bilwa leaves around the neck of lord nanjundeshwara he came straight to me holding holy water pot in his hand he signed again asking me to go to coconut breaking place Our townsmen seeing all these sights with wonder turned to me I went and stood near the place suggested He that man who signaled that mahanubhava as soon as he came placed the bil garland around my neck and poured holy water on my head by opening the lid of the wooden receptacle kamandala placing coconuts into my hands he signed me go the assembled people who saw this sight were dumbstruck what why did he do so they asked are you i know nothing i exclaimed with a garland around my neck unremoved everyone followed me remembering and singing the name of nanjundeshwara we then went to mysore for sightseeing for a while and proceeded to bangalore via krishna raja sagara krs seeing some sights there we returned to our place the unspent balance was equally divided and each one's share of 24 rupees was dispersed with prasada in their packets they returned home our six day pilgrimage concluded thus even then nan came to know that i stealthily broke coconuts without entering into any temple despite a minister visit to kannambadi krs appa's pilgrimage group was permitted entry om tat sat om tat sat om tat sat